Hey guys, it's me Robin and today I'm going to show you a tip while making the cauliflower pizza crust because in the past I've kind of struggled with the pizza crust being a little soggy. So I'm going to show you a recipe today that I think will help make your pizza crust a little more crunchy and actually a little spicy too. So our trick for a really crunchy pizza crust is to use the broccoli cheddar soup mix. So this is what your final crust is going to look like and here are the ingredients and you can stop the video right now to write them down. So this is simple and easy and we're going to just throw all of our ingredients right in together. We're going to take that cheddar soup mix, one egg, our baking powder, we're going to add in our olive oil, and then we're gonna put in some spices, anything that you like, pepper, garlic, parsley, a little Cajun to give it a little spiciness. And we're going to throw in, this is the trick, one half of a cup of the broccoli and cauliflower minced up. Now I happen to find this at the grocery store already pre-made, but this can be done simply by putting broccoli and cauliflower in the Nutribullet and just zipping it really quickly. Then you're gonna mix up your ingredients really well. It's okay if it's kind of sticky, it's really okay, but you're gonna take two sheets of aluminum foil or parchment paper and you're gonna generously spray them with non-stick cooking spray, both sides. Put the dough between the two aluminum foil or the parchment paper and then you're going to roll this with the rolling pin then you're going to flip the dough that's flattened and you're going to peel off one of the tin foils. You're going to flip it onto a baking sheet and I really suggest the cooking stone and then you're going to generously spray it with cooking spray and you're going to pop it in the oven on 420. That's really important. And you're going to bake it on the top shelf at this high heat, 420 for 20 minutes and you're going to flip the pizza, the actual crust, after 15 minutes when you see it browning. So you're going to cook it on the top and you're going to cook it on the bottom, both sides, so both sides are brown. Once that crispy crust is cooked, you can top with your favorite topping. I use some nose sugar tomato sauce, I put that on first, then I diced up some chicken really small, and I sprayed my pan. Then I docked it up my chicken with some seasonings and I added a little mustard, cooked that up, sauteed it on the stove top, got it all ready to put on my pizza. I also added a half a cup of the broccoli cauliflower mixture to get some more veggies in and there you go. Crunchy pizza hot out of the oven. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe for this crunchy, spicy pizza crust mix. If you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, leave me a comment, and don't forget to check out the description for the recipe and for some very cool links to some of the things that are in this video that will be really helpful to make this recipe. And also check out my other videos for my five day meal preps for under $40, plus recently some very cool desserts that you can make with ideal protein products and even for some alternatives. So have an awesome day. 100% protocol. Keep it up, everyone.